Next, I'm going to choose a color for my table. So again, this one's a little more abstract, so you can decide what you want your table to look like. I think I'm going to make my table pink. So I'm going to go and I'm going to color my table. And I'm going to color the whole thing in, just like you're working with crayons. You're going to color it all in. Color the whole thing in. And I can even color where my shadow is going to be because just like when we did our chalk drawings, we know that even though there's a shadow there, that shadow is on top of the same color table as everywhere else. So we're going to start with it the same color as the rest of the table and then we'll add the shadow over top of it. I'm going to be careful to go around the edges of my apple, fill in that whole table. Oh, I have to be careful. It got a little blue from the apple in there. Filling in the whole table, all with that same color. Okay. And then I'm going to make my shadow darker. So I did pink, so I'm going to use a, I think I'm going to use a red to make my shadow. So I have my shadow line here and I'm going to color right over top of it to make my shadow with the red. And if you didn't use a light, like a pink, um, you can use a darker version of the same color or you can try a different color that's darker. Like maybe if you use green, you can make your shadow a dark blue or you could use a little brown to make your shadow. So I'm going over this to make my shadow darker than the rest. And then right up close to the apple, we're going to make that even darker. The parts that are closer to the apple are going to be even darker because the white is blocked even more up close. And then just like I did on my apple, I can use a little bit of black lightly over top of it to add just a little bit more to that shadow, make it a little darker. Again, I'm not pressing very hard with the black. I'm just doing it really lightly to make it a little darker close to my apple. 